anything fear-based for us is not healthy anymore. You know, even, even the, the drive of getting out of debt is a push goal and it ultimately will fail you because once you, once you tick off the box, it's, it's done. You're listening to the Traffic and Funnel Show. We had a record month in November. We did the uh, we did the whole promo. We actually jumped into the Black Friday shenanigans this year. It was a lot of fun. We had a record yeah, month. Yeah, we did. Record month on sales. Record month on cash collections. We, uh, dude, it's crazy. This year has been nuts. I was looking through journals from last year because my day one reminds me. It'll it'll send up a reminder. It's like post posts on this day, and I have journal entries from this from the day that I'm journaling from like five years ago. It's crazy from last year to this year, we've had like a 225% increase in revenue, in cash. It's it's amazing how much can happen in a year. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd say that we're happier and healthier than ever before. Ever before. Really important. Happier, healthier, skinnier, all of the above. Hey, today I was thinking we could talk about drive. Drive, uh, specifically levels of drive. I was sitting this morning... And I was actually thinking about this because I was in 2018, you know, like everything that we were doing, we were doing it from a place that I think was really unhealthy. We were so driven, but we were, there's actually levels of drive. Not all drive is good drive. I'm just going to pause, let that sink in for everybody. Say it one more time. Not all, not all drive is good drive. It's like not all attention is good attention. And uh, say what you want about, uh, you know, the, the growth curve that we've had. But I think we're the healthiest we've ever been with what we're doing and why we're wanting to do it. So I thought we would just break this down a little bit. Talk about energy. People get to the end of the year. They, they're starting to feel tired. People need a little bit of rest. And it's important to take some time and calibrate not just what you're doing, but how you're doing it and why you're doing it. Because the, mm. the reason that you're pushing is actually going to be responsible for your longevity you want to talk about this i can just lead us into the first thing yeah let's go levels of drive three levels three levels three devils Ooh! new levels love, new love devils. it love it when i rhyme uh first level of drive is push push man when we got into business we were a hundred percent push motivated. You know, push is when you are trying to escape something. You know, you're in business because you are afraid of being poor. You don't ever want to go back to being poor. You're in business because you have a fear of X, Y, Z, maybe uh, some past experience. You don't ever want that to happen to you again. You've heard the term like that dude's got a chip on his shoulder. This yep. is push drive. The push drive is really powerful, but the problem is it's not sustainable. You get to a certain place where you know, for us, there's not the fear of being poor is irrelevant. There's no, there's no risk there. It's not going to happen. Yeah. It's not going to motivate us anymore. You know, anything fear based for us is not healthy anymore. You know, even even the the drive of getting out of debt mm. is a push goal, and it ultimately will fail you because once you, once you tick off the box, it's it's done. Yeah. You want to talk about this? So we got we got stuck here for probably two and a half three years. Yeah, I feel like it's it's a good motivator initially, but it could be dangerous. Like if if yeah. you if you allow it to linger too long, I think it could be dangerous. And I would say for me at least it was. Because if you have that kind of motivation, I think it could, it could be dirty. Dirty. You just end up being a dirty dog. <laughs> yeah. Being a dirty dog's not good, right? Because it, it can negatively affect other people, especially I know for me I let it control me for too long and it negatively affected my family. Mm -hmm. So real quick, how do you know when you're stuck in a place where your main drive is push? You'll have these crazy bursts of energy that'll last for like a month and then you'll just feel burned out. If this is a cycle mm -hmm. for you, you look at the past six months, this is a cycle for you where you're just like, ah, push, push, push. I'm so excited. I'm just going to set everything on fire and then burn out. I don't care anymore. If yep. that's your cycle, you're probably caught in that first level of drive it's pretty unhealthy. It, it is effective at times, but it's pretty unhealthy. Then you graduate, you leave the land of push behind and you graduate to a place of pull. You want to talk about this? You want me to get it? 
You go for tell it, bro. Us what, tell us what you think about pool energy, bro. When I pulled you into the future and said, bro, let's <laughs> partner on traffic and funnels. Oh my gosh. Are you actually going there? I'm just saying, bro. It was my idea first and you know it. Everybody knows it. Well, I think to me, pool is, it's a momentum that is, it's not dirty, right? It's, it's more clean. And I think the motivation probably is cleaner to where I think with, with push motivation, um, there is a, that chip on your shoulder. You want to prove people wrong versus pool. It's more, I would say missional. Would you agree with that? I think the difference is one, you're trying to escape something and one you're being pulled into something, you're being drawn towards something. So for you, the, remember when your motivation was, you know, I just don't want to go back to that place where I can't pay for my house. Yeah. And that was the driver for you. And then you graduated to this place where you wanted a lake house. Remember that? Yep. Dude, the difference in those two levels of drive is night and day. Because one is like you're excited about something. If you have a picture of what your life could be and should be, and you wake up every day motivated to go create that, that's a yeah. pull drive. And so many entrepreneurs, I think, once they discover this, I don't have to be afraid of everything. I can actually organize my vision and my goals around something in the future that can pull me to it. I was talking with Peyton yesterday, and I was like, he's, so, he's just tired. And he's kind of like, I mean, he's still doing great. I'm like, what are you excited about? He's like, I don't really know. That's why your energy is down. You can't survive without something pulling you forward. And ultimately, that was more powerful for you because you had a target you wanted to hit than a target you're trying to avoid. Yeah, I think too, with these different levels, I think the further down you go, the more longevity that you have. Yes. Or you can have. Yes. Yes. Someone yes. say, hey, man. Yes, yes, baby. Yes. It's true. Your longevity is different per, per level of drive. Hey, what if you could be in the boardroom where we sit around and we plan out how we're going to grow our eight-figure company month in and month out? If you've ever wondered how traffic and funnels grew so quickly, there are strategies, there are formulas that you can model in your business that our clients are modeling to scale to the moon and back. This is an amazing program. It's called Insiders Access Monthly. And we've put together a couple words on a page that you can actually go and check out this offer, trafficandfunnels.com slash IAM. You will not be sorry. I promise you. Let me know what you think. All right. Level one, push. Level two, pull. Level three, purpose. 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 And I have this. Mm. So if you're listening... Picture this, on one, on one side you have push, and then there's a line, and on the other side you have pull. And then the way I have it written out in my notebook is there's purposes up above both of them. And here's the difference between pull, push, and purpose, is purpose goes in and attaches meaning to all of your mm. motivators. Mm. And you know, look at, look at even your life right now, bro. Like You've done all of the things, you're not afraid of of dead anymore. You're not afraid of not having control. You know, you still have things you're motivated by that are pulling you, but purpose has attached meaning that is bigger than you to everything that you're doing. I think this is why I hate lifestyle business owners so much because there is not a more selfish individual on the planet than the person who goes out, creates surplus, then hijacks and hacks all of it for themselves to live on a beach. You got to be bigger than that, man. There's got to be a level of purpose attached to what you're doing, which means basically there's a reason you're doing it for. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this, but you just gave a big amount of money to somebody and you were telling me the other day, it like lit you up and it yeah. just gave you all this energy and it gave you all this meaning. It's like, dude, we want to hit our goals next year, not because we want to buy new things, but because we can impact everybody else's life in the process, you know? Yeah, and I feel like that, that fuel is it, it sustains longer mm. and it has it has more torque i did i actually got a voicemail from that person last night almost. oh he found out yeah he found out oh <laughs> i, I set it up anonymous but i think the owners can see who gives but anyways yeah it left me a voicemail almost crying dude mm. um just the gratitude and stuff for their situation um 
and what we were able to contribute. And so, of course, I'm like almost crying and just the ability to do that. I just think about, man, looking back, what if we had made the decision not to progress into these, these essentially new eras of motivation, right? yes. these new stages? What if we stayed in the push? We stayed fear-based. We stayed in that striving and just kind of that dirty dog energy. Yeah. Well, we might not be at the place where you can give to the things that you give to and things you're involved with that the belonging in your church and the things that I'm able to do. All right. So I think it's something if, if people were every person listening to this entrepreneurs, if you were to like step back and realize the contribution that you can have to the world, to people, to amazing things is massive. Yes. If you want, if you're aware of where you're at and then what's possible for you, and then push through the stuff to get you to that place where you're really in that purpose arena sphere. Yes. Yes. Hey, I know we have a hard cutoff. I just want to end with a story, if that's yeah. cool with you. Yes. Story time with Taylor. Story time. Chris, with mommy and daddy. Story time with daddy and mommy. Uh, this was, do you remember the last time you said we mommy in? first, because that's who you are. Uh, no, no, I don't think that's true, bro. I'll let the listeners judge for themselves. All right, go ahead. And then, and then if we have any questions, Derek can make us answer them. But, uh, last time we were in, in the great, uh, state of California, do you remember the time that I was getting in that Uber driving to Starbucks? Did I tell you the story? With the guy yeah, who lost just, everything, so yes, I'm gonna yes, read. Yes, yes. I'm gonna read. A, I'm just gonna read this post because I this think it's, a, it's it's this summer, and I think it's a perfect like end off point for what we're talking about, and it'll make you happy. This I'm just gonna read the post verbatim. This morning I was complaining over text to somebody about profit margins. That person was Chris, obviously, because he's the only person I complained to. Um, our margins are good, but they've been they dipped last month, and we're buying real estate with the extra profit. So I'm tuned into every percentage point of margin right now. So I was complaining over text. I was saying what I wanted to get fixed. It was just kind of being cynical, which I think is pretty odd for me because I'm typically a optimistic type of excited, passionate person. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Usually we're talking about like, man, 2020 is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. But I was kind of complaining. My, do, my Uber driver basically lets me in the car and he asks, do you know why I'm so happy? Which is annoying to me because I don't know about you, but I don't like Uber drivers talking to me. I just want them to just sit in the front, be quiet, take me where I want to go. So I just said no. And I looked back at my phone. I don't like, I don't really talk to people. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to be like, tell me please. Anyway, this guy is talking my ear off and he's like, let me tell you why I'm so happy. And he's like, let me buy you a coffee, please. And I, for some reason I was like, sure, you can buy me a coffee. Probably because I felt poor because we were talking about profit margins. Anyways, this dude buys me a double shot. He comes inside, he sits down. And he starts telling me he moved to the United States from Lebanon in 1982. In the 90s, he rose to the top as a trades manager in California, bought a house in Newport Beach cash. Newport Beach is a is ridiculous. expensive place to live. He bought a house in cash, several million dollars. He had the cars, the prestige. He started a business uh, shortly after. It was like a trucking business. It got really big. Long story short, new regulation was passed in 2017. And uh, he had to sell his business for pennies on the dollar because of the way that the trucking industry works. He had to sell all of his collateral. He had to just sell it off so he could get rid of the debt. Three months after that, this dude basically goes bankrupt. He loses his voice, goes to the doctor, finds out he has pancreatic cancer. He almost dies. This is in 2017. His wife gives him divorce papers in 2018 after 25 years. Says, I'm leaving. Jeez, I'm listening to this dude. I'm like, what in the world? Like... How, how do you Crazy. survive something like this? Boom, 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 boom. And this guy looks at me and he says, the biggest mistake I've made, every mistake I've made in my life has come because I was either angry or I was afraid. Those two things. And now every day I get in my car and I realize that everything is a gift. And this guy's glowing and I'm pissed off because we made a million dollars and we don't have enough money to buy all the real estate we want. And uh, I asked him, I was like, what's next? Because this guy is an Uber driver and he had a multi, like several hundred million dollars in business income. Dude's a legend. You never know who you're surrounded by, right? Like everybody's yep. got this story in this past. And I'm like, what's next? Like you're going to get into the game again because you're like, a, a, you were this wealthy dude. And he said, you know what? He's like, I have some ideas. But for now, every day I wake up, I can talk. I can breathe. I realize it is a gift. And I'm just enjoying that for now mm -hmm. and taking people 
wherever they need to go and sharing my story. Dude, it never ceases to amaze me how our perspective determines our happiness and our energy. And some people just need a perspective shift. Yep. Like you, you are listening to a podcast <laughs> through technology that you probably can afford to have. You're, when's the last time you struggled to get food, struggled to drink clean water? It's like, tis the season, bro, to really evolve into the next level of energy, yep. happiness, drive, do it for other people. Anyways, that's my story. It's amazing. That's great. Anything else we so, got before we wrap up? I say that the challenge is you guys actually take time and consider these thoughts for yourself and how you'll, you'll take action on it, please. Yes. Yes. That's what daddy likes. <laughs> daddy is me. Daddy is no. me. No, 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 no. Hey guys, if you're not subscribed to uh, insiders access, we, we pull back the curtain. I think the December issue is maybe shipping at the end of this week or maybe last week. I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I basically broke down, Chris, I don't know if you saw this, how we're taking money out of the business to put it into asset protection. It's phenomenal value for a very, very low investment. So check it out. I think it's trafficandfunnels.com slash insiders access. Anything else you want to you talk about before we wrap up? No, sir. I just love everybody. Let's rock and roll. See you See guys. You. Thanks for listening. For more from Chris and Taylor, visit trafficandfunnels.com and get a free gift just for being a subscriber. That's trafficandfunnels.com. Hey, what if you could be in the boardroom where we sit down and we plan out how we're going to grow our eight-figure company month in and month out? If you've ever wondered how Traffic and Funnels grew so quickly, there are strategies, there are formulas that you can model in your business that our clients are modeling to scale to the moon and back. This is an amazing program. It's called Insiders Access Monthly. And we've put together a couple words on a page that you can actually go and check out this offer, trafficandfunnels.com slash IAM. You will not be sorry, I promise you. Let me know what you think.